Do you guys dislike the white man? Do we dislike? No, the, the law says thou shalt not abhor an Edomite. We know the evil he's done. God said he hates them. God hates them. We have to work with them. We're on a plane with them coming here. We got to do business with them. But we know the truth. Only of all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Kodesh. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father when he calls God and his name even means he exists. And Yahweh says the name is the only begotten Son of the Lord when he calls Jesus Christ. And his name even means he delivers by Hashem is in the name of Yahweh Kodesh, the Holy Spirit. I want to give all my honors to the apostles <coughs> and the elders of the great most honorable well. Peace and blessings unto the subscribe and the sports for the truth that the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to your brothers and keep pushing and the double shalom to the Israelites. This looking like the other nations in the show with you. I want to say shalom to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dewa from Jimmy's Lions St. Louis Camp. I don't come back at another video and Disclaimer, not doing this video for any monetary gain. Just strictly educational purposes only. So I'm within my rights. So what you see is, uh, I got inspired to do this lesson from the head, brother. And basically what IURC is doing again, you know, they in the spotlight. And uh, IURC has officially fallen. Okay, they compromised and all that. And they're pretty much a Christian church. They know that they're Israelites. Okay, because that's what a lot of these people are trying to do. They're trying to mix Christianity and and uh, the Israelite doctrine together. But it doesn't work like that, all right? And... Uh, that being said, we have to make sure that we teaching what needs to be taught, you know, that we feeding the flock the correct way, because we obviously can't rely on you other Israelite camps to do that, because we know that y'all compromised, okay? Now, you go to these Israelite camps, uh, they might give you, like, the basics as far as, like, you an Israelite and uh, the, the name of Yahweh. Bashimi you know, is is not Jesus or God, you know, is Yahweh Bashimi Awashai and certain things, but they go off with other things, like for example, long hair and the mark of the beast. <coughs> or in this case, Deuteronomy twenty three and seven, you know, which uh that's clerical error in which you can't even go to the blue letter and find it anymore because they didn't changed it. <laughs> but uh, it's like I'm still a little bit under the weather. You know, see like the look, the sniffles that I have, they just come and go. So it's like you for that. But the show must go on. <clears throat> and brothers, however I'm feeling. Okay, it doesn't matter how I feel, I have to still do the work. And there's one thing that you'll learn when you come into the truth, that it doesn't matter how you feel. This word still got to be pushed regardless. And so this is uh, Titus 1 and 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially if they are the circumcision. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, right? Teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. I see it has got Nate. He's paid off, man. This guy's paid off, so he has to keep that deal. He has to keep that money going. You know, and it shows a complete lack of faith if you sell out. I mean, like, what is on this side? Like, driving around in the bins or whatever. A Hellcat, a GT500. A Lambo, it doesn't matter, man. All right, yeah, all we know that is uh, these other Israelite camps, they're going off, they're not teaching the truth, okay? 
And Yahweh Bashmiel Shah is gonna destroy the IURC. Alright. And this is just ridiculous. You know, and Yahweh Bashmiel Shah can't come back sooner enough, okay? And I just wanted to, to go over here to um Edom. Right, which is uh, Avraham, which means uh, Syrian. But when you go into the blue letter, they don't even have it. They just say Edomite, you know. And uh, when you read, so Avraham, it's an incorrect reading for Adawam. Which stands in. I'm not the best word when it comes to the Syrian Hebrew, but. Kind But we know that this. Uh, Araram. Okay. Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despiser of those that are good, traitors. Heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, right? And that's majority of these people. They love pleasure. You know, they like sex more than they love Yahweh Bashimi Asha. They like eating more than they love Yahweh Bashimi Asha. They like uh, uh, basketball more than Yahweh Bashimi Asha. You know, all these things just... That mean absolutely nothing in this world. Okay. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power that will from such turn away, right? So they have a form of godliness. You know, which these uh, Israelite camps, they have a form of godliness. They claim to believe in the Heavenly Father. But they're going off, man. You know, and they denying the true God of the Bible, okay? You know, and it shows a lack of faith that they don't really believe in the God of the Bible. They don't think that he'll do anything. Verse 6, for of this sort are they which crept into houses and led captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, right? So, and now you all see it's full of women. Majority of their congregation is women, mainly people that sin tights are women. Okay. Ever learned and never able to come into the truth, into the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. All right, so we seeing you other Israelites folly and um, uh, faithlessness, okay? We see it. And it's pretty much a laughing stock because we know that y'all don't have the truth. We know that y'all paid off, you know, and that's real shameful. Okay. Verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me in Antioch and Iconium and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. 
yea, and all that will live godly in the Mashiach shall suffer persecution. For evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right. So yeah. And these and this man right here and his lackeys are evil men. And they waxing worse and worse. So we just waiting on uh the L the LGBTQ to to come into uh the church now. We waiting on that, Nate. Verse 4, 14. But continue down the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of, of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, which is through, which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. Acts 19 and 14 and there nah, 24 for a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, whom he called together with the workmen of light occupation, and said, Sirs, ye know that by this craft we have our wealth. Moreover, ye see and hear that not alone in Ephesus, but Almost throughout all Asia, this Paul hath persuaded and turned many much people, saying that they be no gods which are made with hands. So that not only this our craft is in danger to be set and not, but also the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worshipped. And when they had heard these saying, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. And the whole city was filled with confusion. And having caught Gaius and Aristarchus, man of Macedonia, Paul's companion in travel, they rushed with one accord into the theater. Right, so kind, so they was mad. And that's the same spirit that that these men are coming in, you know. They want to get our people to believe the things that they want to believe all for monetary gain, okay. That's wicked as hell. So you're basically destroying the Lord's sheep, all right. That's what the scripture says, woe be unto the pastor. Because, Nate, you are, you a are pastor now. You're not even a, a preacher, okay. You're not even... You're not even on the battlefront. Can't nobody even ask you questions. You know, you're in a fixed environment. You know, where people are just looking up to you. Okay? Acts 5 and 38. The reason. Now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or work be a man, it will come to naught, right? But if it be of Yahweh, you cannot overthrow it. At least happily ye be found to even fight against Yahweh, all right? And yeah. So yeah, and we see. Now, all these different doctrines is about to get ready and be destroyed. Okay? And we see the smack now coming. Because uh, we already don't know Nate's stance on the uh, C-hip. So, 
Yeah, we got to see what's about to yearly happen. It's Proverbs 26 and 11. As a dog returning to his vomit, so a fool returning to his folly. Right. <laughs> so you're returning to folly, man. You're not even an Israelite no more, really. Can't even call yourself that. All right. You're an idol worshiper. And so with that, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. By Shmi Shah, by Shemekakbarash. Shalom and a Bible ball.